It's Friday the 8th of March and today I'm hopefully going to go kayaking in Biscayne National Park. Uh, it's a national park in southern Florida, near Miami. And like a lot of national parks in the US, this one's mostly water. It protects a large bay and all the submerged land underneath it. It also has um, lots of islands. swamp around the edges. Let's have a quick look at the bay. The water doesn't look too bad. There is a bit of a wind. Hopefully I'm going to go kayaking and do some exploring out here. So that should be pretty cool. Uh, this is Convey Point. Um, I believe it's the Dante Fascal Visitor Centre. And I want to go kayaking this little bit out here. Oh, I might just grab to those islands there, check those out. Pretty cool. The water looks amazingly clear. Just look at that. See what it's like when I'm actually out on the bay. Maybe do a bit of exploring, hug up the coast, and then come back between the two islands to here. See how far I get out into the bay. Probably not very far. I'm not that experienced. I have sea kayaked before, but. Not for a long time. So I'm going to play it safe and <laughs> be within sight of the um, visitor centre, I think. Okay, so without much ceremony, I've been pushed off and here I am on the bay. I asked if those islands had names, but they didn't think they had names, so I might just go check them out a little bit, but uh, let's try the underwater camera. The first time I've tried doing this, so hopefully it's not going to explode. The bay is only about 10 feet deep, uh, at its deepest point really, um, but I'm being blown back onto these um, mangroves. There are a few kinds of mangroves in Biscayne National Park, these are the red ones I believe, which go towards the edge, very good at salty conditions, hold together the soil in a clump, and they're on kind of stilts. Well, we'll go up and see if we can get a closer look at them. Okay, so uh, approaching the eastern of the two islands. Um, still not sure what they're called. If they don't have a name, then I've named this one East Daniel Island, and that one's West Daniel Island. You're welcome. Um, it's actually more of an island than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be just mangrove um, held together, but I can see a tiny little hill, I think. So we'll get a bit closer and we'll check out what it's made of. Islands are sheltering from the wind and it's really nice and still this year. Okay.
pelican or something keeps diving in. Okay, let's. Um, I think I'll, I'll head completely around the island and then come back in and maybe do a, a figure eight around these islands. That would be pretty cool. Okay, I'm um, past the island now and the wind's blowing again. I've got to be careful not to get blown back onto this island. Um, I can see a bit of trash on there. There's a, a drinks can and um, a shoe. I saw some tin cans at the bottom of the bay. Um, even though this is a national park, it's still the South Miami and things will get washed up. Okay, I'm getting dragged back to the island now, so I'm going to put the camera away and paddle a bit harder. Okay, that's a little bit better. I've created myself now. Um, I might try and make it towards that shore and then go a bit south to visit the centre. Let's see what that's like. Lots of herring. There's quite a lot. There's nothing somewhere over there. There's a little rock with lots of birds on in there. Ah, oh, so it could have been enough for us. Okay, let's pull back to shore and we'll follow it down to the visitor centre. This is a better look at the mangrove. See it's on stilts. So this must be the red mangrove which grows near the near the shore. What was that? I don't see any big fish around here. Let's go check that out as I make my way down. Okay, there's this little bit of, um, I guess, inland, a little bit of waterway. Got a little mangrove island just here. And I'll just paddle it inland a little bit and do a U-turn up there. See what that's like. You can just see a gap between all the things. So that's a really nice, just going on this really still part of, I'm not sure if this is just an inland coast to Huawei 
or if this is still fresh water flowing out or or what I'm not sure but it's it's really nice just to explore a little bit of this. In the middle of a little patch of mangrove here. See, it's not very fast flowing, so it's a bit murkier with a bit more, I'd call it scum floating on the surface. It's fascinating how the trees just hang down and touch the water. Only inches deep back there. Okay, if I just follow this little channel out and round to the right, that'll take me down to the visitor centre and then hand this kite back in. I've had a great time so far. I, I kind of wish I don't, I didn't have to hand it back in, but oh well, I guess there could always be another time. Okay, well, I'm back on dry land and dry is what I'm hoping to get because I am quite wet on my rump um, and sat on the kayak. Um, so I'm just going to stay here we sit on a bench until I get a little bit drier. So that cost $19.26 for an hour and a half out there. I thought it was fantastic. I really had a much more enjoyable time than I thought I would. Um, I also ache a little bit more than I thought I would. Oh well. So yeah. So if you're in the Maori area and you want to do some nice kayaking in a beautiful national park then come out to Biscayne National Park and just rent a kayak. <laughs>